I'm Martin Anderson with a group that's about to shred here in Studio B. Live Studio B uh, sessions are brought to you by Sierra Nevada Brewing Company, and we are down live with the Trouble Notes. Welcome, guys. Hey. I just want to make, before we go anywhere, Shred Kelly is an awesome name. It is a good name, isn't that's it? That's an awesome name. That, that's a, that might have been what, what got our attention at first, was like a name like that. Well, we got to check them out. Listen to that. Yeah. And, uh, and they shred, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like uh, the Australian folklore with, of Ned Kelly. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah? I'm, okay. I'm that's fairly the, certain that's where, yeah, they, 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 that's where it comes from. Okay, probably. That's all right. That's a great play on words. So there we go. Well, you would know. You travel all around Australia, Europe, everywhere. Uh, you guys were just in uh, Asheville last night and yes. Charlotte before that. Hope those shows were good. They were very good. Fantastic. Shows. Yeah, both great. Lots of energy. Good, good. As yeah. you have uh, lots of energy. We try. Uh, yeah. let, let's give those listeners a taste of what they missed. What do you want to start off let's with with it. this live session? Here? Well, um, a background about us, real quick. So we're we're from three different continents yeah. and. Uh, this uh, we like mostly reside in Europe, and so this first song is about a kind of a transatlantic voyage. So it's our arrival, leaving Europe, particularly Ireland, and coming here. But it's really the song is really about Irish immigration to the North American, All right. and uh, and so you can the song it's called Liberty Awaits, and you can kind of close your eyes. Well, if you're driving, please don't close your eyes. <laughs> but if you're at home and it's safe, you can close your eyes at the beginning and you can kind of imagine that you're being called across the sea by Lady Liberty as she's trying to bring um, those that are coming with nothing but a dream to plant their seeds for the future here in North America. So this song is called Liberty Awaits.
That is music from the Trouble Notes on Cheers, WNCW man. live in Studio B, warming up this uh, often kind of a chilly room here with a lively set here this morning. It's three folks here. It's Bennett uh, Servan, is it? Servan, yeah. Servan, oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, Bennett Servan. Matter of accent. <laughs> that's all. Yeah. All right, here he's on the violin. And uh, in the middle, it's Florian Eisenschmidt yeah. from Germany that's on right. the guitar. And all the way from down under Australia, it's uh, Julian Lardis on G'day. percussion. Good day to you. Um, <laughs> Julian's got some really cool percussion stuff. He's uh, sitting on a cajon box. Yeah, I've got this. Actually, this one's uh, quite a, uh, a new box by an Austrian company called Purr. All right. P-U-R, really, really cool. I've cool. been playing cajon for like nearly nine years. Yeah. And this is uh, one of my favorites by far. It's nice. got a lot of cool little sounds and gadgets. and Yeah. It's amazing all the different notes you can get out of all the different tones and such. Out of a box. That's uh, just from a wooden box. Yep, yep. You can see it on uh, WNSW's Facebook page because we've got the video stream going. Yeah. Uh, you can see uh, what he's got. Uh, and they're all very uh, lively, fun to watch, moving around. And I've had fun this morning, guys, just trying to um, play some of the... Uh, artists uh, in our music mix that maybe remind me a little bit of what you do and some of your influences perhaps but i gotta say it's hard uh <laughs> rodrigo gabriella come to mind i know that you uh, are that you really look up to them and you got to tour with them and stuff but that's right but they do the mexican uh, guitar bass since they're from there and and that's not exactly a way to describe trouble notes no that song you just played liberty awaits the mm. title track to your most recent album mm. Based on you said traveling from Ireland to the U.S., mm. not much of a exactly Irish influence, maybe, but uh, but maybe a little bit. I don't know. How do you describe your music? Yeah, well, I mean that that one in particular, like the the theme from the the folk theme there, that has that kind of six eight Irish okay. jig swing. Yeah. That one. So that was the influence there. Um, but the rest of it is meant to be kind of like a transatlantic voyage. So it's, ah, it's very, yeah. Uh, we call our music progressive world folk okay. because we take different influences from different world artists, you know, whether they be North African or a lot of Europe and a lot of America, but also South America, uh, which we'll get to now maybe. Mm. And, uh, and we kind of mix them all together. And I'm really happy you brought up Rod Gab. Because Rodrigo and Gabriela, they were a huge influence, and they kind of got us started in a way. We were the group started basically watching videos of them and thinking like they were playing a lot in the street. And we thought like we could do that too. Let's try. Right. And so we started, you know, busking in New York City, and then that brought us to London, and then it was just like from there, city, 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 and it, we were like really a street band for a long time. And now not so much street, but sometimes <sighs> we do still for fun. Feels good. I, I think I saw a video of you guys just busking the streets of uh, Asheville yesterday. over the weekend. Yesterday, <laughs> yeah. right? We, actually, went, we did guys, a live stream. Actually. I wasn't there, but you guys actually um, opened for Rod Gab. Yeah, well, we a few did, years yeah. ago. Yeah, we did. We played. We played four shows with them. 2019. 2019. 2019. Yeah, yeah. That's great. All right, before the pandemic and stuff, yeah. just uh, getting out as much live music <laughs> as you could before then. Yeah. Um, that must have been a. Uh, a rush playing with Rodrigo Gabriela oh, on a little yeah. tour. It was crazy, and it was the year that they won the Grammy too. So it was like the oh. that was really cool. Like they won that Grammy, I think, like shortly after we were touring with them, and it was they were really proud of it. And their management, like and their credit nice, to them, though. their team is awesome. Yeah. So they're two musicians, but they have like a nine-person team. Okay. So that means, you know, mathematically speaking, we're <laughs> going to get to 18 at some point. Yes, I guess so. <laughs> right. But, uh, but yeah, so, I mean, like... Uh, I wanted Dave as well. They, they, were, they were great. I mean, just all around good yeah. team, and uh, <laughs> they were welcoming, and we really enjoyed playing with them. Yeah, cool. It was fun. I bet. So, yeah, they, they're known, among other things, like just their sound, they're known for starting as buskers. I think the Dublin in particular, right? Yes, They met on the streets and started yeah. doing that. And you guys have certainly done a lot of busking and did so a little bit yesterday, I guess, in yeah. Nashville, uh, but now playing gigs and uh, all sorts of different gigs. It's fun to look at, like, your website, your, your social media presence, to see all these different places where you perform yeah. Old old city centers in Europe, to brand new big modern stages. Yeah. Uh, you were at the Grey Eagle and the Evening Muse over the weekend, mm -hmm. and then you're playing Wednesday in Atlanta. I don't know where in Atlanta. Uh, Smith's so Smith's Old, old Bar. Okay. Yeah. Great. So it's uh, yeah, one of the older, you know, musical institutions in Atlanta. Good. 
Right? Yeah. And then and we're in Knoxville as well, I think, on the 18th. On the 18th in Knoxville yeah. at the at the Jig and Reel venue there. I, I know. Think. In fact, it it's at Scruffy's Music Hall. Yeah. I saw mention of that, too. So yeah. uh, I was misinformed. So I, the internet misinformed me. Oh Imagine no. that. Oh, oh, no, not good. So, that so, never happened. Well, so no, so, so I think... Scruffy's. Wait, so I think that you're not wrong that the 2020 tour that was canceled for us, we were supposed to play the Jig and Reel. Okay. And now we're at Scruffy's. So I'm just three years behind is all. That's all. <laughs> as, long as, as long as you show up at the right place. Listen. Right. In the I, right year. I essentially feel <laughs> like North America for us, because we were building in like 2018, 2019, we were building a beautiful connection here. And it was like really feeling like, hey, everything's taken off. It's going really well. And then fast forward, three years missed. And so the way that we see it is that our relationship has just been paused. Yeah. Yeah. So 2020, we just put everything on pause and we're picking up right where we left off. That's what we're trying to, that's how we're looking at it here. So, cool. That yeah, sounds man. good. All right. Just armed with more music. <laughs>